it going everybody just out here I want to do a quick video on some new gear I just purchased really excited to try out um, is by a company that I think is more up-and-coming outdoor vitals so we're gonna do a, a first look at the outdoor vitals double hammock this is an 11 foot long hammock six foot wide with the tree straps comes in at one pound seven ounces packs down fairly small and then this is their bug netting that they sell for their 11 foot hammock both of them are very easy to get back into their stuff sacks I will say the little bit I've laid in this super comfortable very comfortable but like I said their their weight is dead on I've tested them multiple times with my my little fishing scale that I have right here so let's weigh this hammock according to Outdoor Vitals website, it's one pound seven ounces. So let's let's give it the test here. And that's with their their tree straps and suspension. So the, the hammock and everything is one pound seven ounces. Let's see. Looks like we have twenty two point one ounces. We'll zero it out and we're gonna test the bug net according to their website it's just over eight ounces but let's see looks like it changed a little bit with my moving let's give it one more try here and we have 8.3 with that So the weights are good, not super lightweight. There are lighter weight hammocks out there. Okay, we discussed weights. Now let's talk price. This is an $80 setup right here for the hammock and the tree straps and your suspension. Not bad, but it is made in China. So not great, but not bad. The bug net is another $40. So you have a $120 setup right here. We talked weight, now let's go over the spec of this hammock and bug net I got here. Let's start with the hammock. So one pound, seven ounces, with the suspension and tree straps, made of 40 denier ripstop nylon, has two aluminum carabiners I'll show you later. Like I said, it's 11 foot by 6 foot wide. They call it the double. They also make a solo and a solo plus. This thing will support up to 400 pounds. It comes with two 1 inch by 6 foot tree straps. And then you have whoopee slings that are 764th Dyneema. Which helps out with the weight. The bug net is made the upper mesh is a 20 denier polyester the bottom or backing material as they state in their website is a 15 denier nylon fabric that has a DWR treated coating on it so it's DWR treated to help with a little bit of waterproofing or something like that but so let's set this up and see what we have here so i have it set up now took me a little bit a little fiddling you know you got that with every hammock though but show you some of the stuff here those are your one inch by six foot tree straps going down to your 764th 
Dyneema whoopee slings. As you can see, I got your bug net on. So, right here, the screen is a 20 denny year polyester. Your black card here is a 15 denny year nylon. Tried to go with a 30 degree hang. So your bug netting on one end cinches down. He cinched that tight. Does have a clip here. So I'm thinking if you're running, you know, you might be able to clip that onto something or clip stuff off of there to hang something. But like I said, there's your other one inch by six foot tree strap here 764 denny here whoopie we'll sling again going to this side where you have to cinch it they give you a very long cinch string because with this you just pull your your bug net back it's kind of like a winter sock also i mean you could flip that over to get the the lighter side actually the 15 denny or nylon to help trap heat in on a cold night but so with that to keep the bug net off of you they give you this elastic shock cord type deal that you run between your carabiners like that Craftsmanship. Let's talk craftsmanship of this. Um, I pay 120 bucks, or I pay 80 bucks for a hammock. I don't want to see this. You know, I don't want to see that. You know that. I expect that with cheap stuff. I expect that with stuff I buy from Walmart. You know. I mean. It looks decently stitched, but I did notice, and maybe I can't find it, but, you know, on the ends here, it looks decent. But, yeah, I mean, nobody wants to see a bunch of loose threads, you know, anywhere when they're buying something. So, I'm in here. got a little stretch to it so I'll, what I'll do is my initial sit and then I'll readjust but because I can get it to hang pretty darn low so now I'm going to show you how I put the bug screen on the bug net on it's kind of a pain but it could be worse you know You gotta find your sense cord. Kind of scooch up in here. Get your head in. it's time consuming you know if you wake up a lot in the middle of the night and gotta pee I don't recommend this I don't recommend this at all
That's as good as I'm gonna get it. I'm not gonna lie. But find my sweet spot. And it's not too bad. It's pretty darn comfortable. You probably can't see much of me, but I'm laying pretty darn flat. I'm going to say I could do some tweaking. That bug net has a lot to be desired. It's not that great. Like I said, get a nice flat lay. I don't have too much squeeze around my shoulders or anything. I mean, it's not too bad. So for the price, I haven't slept in it, so I'm not saying anything bad about it. But for the price, I expect the quality to be better than what it is as far as the stitching. I don't feel that I'm going to fall out. I don't feel it's going to break under my, my size, so that's plus. But I could have bought a war bonnet, Eldorado, for 20 to 30 bucks more. But I wanted to see how something like this compares to something like that. Outdoor Vitals is a company who I like, but I don't know how much I like them. I've gotten a few of their products and they're okay, but they're not great. For the money, I expect them to be great. So we're gonna test this out on my next few uh, backpacking trips and this is coming with me every time so like i said not bad but not great for the money do i recommend it not right now right now i say wait and get yourself something else a war bonnet a dream hammock a dutch you know dutch chameleon or a half wit from them. I mean, there's a lot of places out there you can go and get a better quality hammock than this that you will be happy with. You're going to have options on color and, you know, your tree strapping and stuff like that. So, for 120 bucks. I would say spend 30 bucks more and get something better. Is it bad? No. But that's what this stuff is. I haven't seen a very good, honest review of these products. Everyone I've seen is, oh, it's great, it's great, it's great. I don't think it's great. I mean, honestly, I wish I would have spent my money on a war bonnet Eldorado that's coming in the future right now they're hard to get they're very popular right now with all all this going on so thanks for watching I really appreciate it if you find any value to this give me a thumbs up leave a comment think about subscribing because I'm gonna do more and more gear not just low end but mid level which I would call Outdoor Vitals mid-level. So mid-level gear and maybe some cottage vendor gear I got coming up here. So like, comment, subscribe. Like always, I really appreciate you for watching.